Hello guys, we are here with you the third episode of Photoshop Learning Course. In this episode we'll learn how to work with camera raw filter and we'll learn how to work with match color in adjustment. So we have two pictures from Arc the Triumph. As you can see, one of them is very sharp and with high contrast, and the second picture is with lower quality and more normal. And I want to turn the colors in this picture closer to the other one. So in adjustment we choose match color, and in source we select the second color. And you can choose the amount of light that is in the photo and color intensity inside the picture. And the amount of faintness between them. And with this technique you can match the color between these two pictures. And as you can see, it's getting closer. I can select natural lines and work with these options to get the result that I want. And luminance here. So the first thing that I did here was... Let me increase the color intensity a little bit. And fade it a little bit. Look at before and after. color of the image changed dramatically. And later on I will teach you how to add these sky into our design. So later on we can add the sky into our picture. And the next option that is really important that now that we have done this coloring we choose Camera Raw Filter. And Camera Raw Filter is one of the main filter that is being used in photo editing. And I can strongly say 50% of the quality of the pictures that you took with your camera or your rendering after post-production is from Camera Raw Filter section. And normally, if I want to do anything, I can choose color or black and white. I can use auto. So the program is doing the settings automatically or as short. I can change the temperature and make it cooler or hotter. So it's closer to the picture that I want. And I can turn the colors more into red to get closer to sunset. In exposure, I can reduce the light or increase the light. And I think if we reduce it, it will be closer to that picture. And in highlights, we increase the highlights a little bit. In shadows, we increase the shadows also. White will help you to show the white areas, white or gray. Here it could be good in black, in the black areas can be a little darker or get a little lighter. Darker I think it could be good. And in texture setting I can increase the texture that is being done on the building or on a floor and in clarity I can increase the clarity to see the texture of the building a little bit. I usually use 10 for clarity and 12 for texture. Dehaze is for adding haze to the picture or remove it from the picture and if you add 5 
I think it would be enough. And in Y branch, I can put more emphasis on the colors or decrease it. And it's the same thing in saturation. And I think these two settings can help you a lot. And as you can see, we're getting closer to the colors and source picture. And now if we go to tone curves, here you can adjust highlights, lights, darks, and shadows to work on them more professionally. And in curves, you can use those preset settings. We can go to the next option and increase the sharpness of our image. And the details that is being used in the picture. And in noise reduction, we can decrease the luminance and luminance detail. And I recommend you guys to use these settings and see the end result for yourself to get to know these settings better. And as you can see with color smoothing, you can see the sky better. I will try not to use them as extreme and keep them at medium because we don't want to lose the detail inside the picture. And in hue and saturation and luminance, you can increase or decrease a specific color that is being used inside the picture. Here you can increase the tone of orange or decrease it. And in this picture, I think the orange and red is more. And you can increase the color of sky with blue, purple, and all of them. The luminance is the shining of those colors and how much light those colors are shining look how interesting it is a dark blue or a light blue and as you can see I'm just controlling my sky with this and then without any trouble I can get a good result inside the picture. Even though that this picture's quality is not that high. But we are enhancing the result that we get from it. We can here select the color that we want and increase the saturation in that color. Here I will increase the saturation in red color. And whatever you have here was in general section. And in highlights we can increase the red and in shadows we can increase the red. But very small. Just like this. If you want to add a distortion to our picture, we can do it. We can increase the amount of wig netting here a little bit.
and grain will give a dot like texture like pictures in pass. And in here we can increase the amount of vignetting. Or even select the colors priority or highlights as our priority. So we select these to get a good result from it. I did these settings, but be sure to test these settings for yourself on different pictures to get a good result from it and see the results that how effective it can be. Pay attention to before and after here. Most of the photographers are using this technique to enhance the result of their images. And now that you're using this in architecture, these filters that you use in Camera Raw can help you a lot. Now, let's look at this picture and look at the other picture. And the picture that we made is more close to sunset. I can repeat this filter and change the colors and get the color that I want. Reduce the vibrance and change the colors. Or even in shadows, make it a little lighter so I can see the details underneath the ceiling there. Here, I don't want to decrease it a lot, just a little bit. We press OK. And this is our image. Just like this. And with that picture, we got this. I want us to review Camera Raw together again. For example, I've got a picture that is taken in interiors, and if I press Ctrl J, I have a copy of my picture. And we only need to choose Camera Raw and Filters and change the temperature inside our area to make it colder or warmer, the light and your contrast and highlights, shadows as well, black also, white goes towards black and increase the texture inside the area, look at the texture on the bed, same thing with clarity. In sharpness, we increase the details. Let's test it to see if on medium contrast you can see it better. 